Hello uh, everyone, good uh, evening. Today we're going to speak about uh, one of the, um, in my opinion, um, fast developing uh, application or uh, technology, the smart home. Um, so from the beginning I want to clarify um, uh, one thing that uh, artificial intelligence system, it's not when uh, someone is speaking with us when we are uh, shaving in the morning or uh, preparing some uh, breakfast. Uh, don't be confused. Uh, don't don't confuse the system with your wife <laughs> or girlfriend. It's something different. So a uh, smartphone uh, is uh, uh, was created for only one uh, goal: is uh, uh, to make our life easier, uh, to help us when we come in back uh, uh, from job and uh, to save our time. So. Um, So it was a demonstration of the first application of a smartphone. So you can realize it's a, a sound sensor. Um, yeah, it's a sound sensor that can recognize uh, the sound of my uh, claps and can switch and switch on or switch off uh, the light in the in the room. Um, so let's see what the structure of the smart home. So you can see the smart home uh, made from sensors. It's a huge amount of sensors inside like in the sound, uh, water, uh, light, um, temperature, and, uh, and so on. It's a lot of sensors, and the, all the sensors, they uh, connected to the uh, uh, to computer with a CPU and memory uh, inside, and all these computers have a software that can uh, make some decisions, can uh, switch on the water when we uh, outside from the home, if uh, there are some disaster inside, or can send information uh, inside uh, outside from uh, home to uh, emergency services and uh, from other side we can connect to our smart home and we can see what is going on inside some cameras or if a coffee is ready so I can go home um, so this one is a generally uh, uh, about a smart home so today we're going to speak about uh, four applications that means based on these sensors uh, we have applications in a smart home so today we're going to speak about evolution not this evolution. We will go to speak about evolution of uh, four applications uh, when we are using it uh, 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 every day in uh, our house and our office. So it's a heating, uh, smart heating, refrigerator, toilet, and washing machine. So the first one, we, we will start from the uh, bottom and we will go uh, to the top of uh, all these applications and we will see uh, from where we started and what we have now. So the first heating system, it was open fire, as you can see, even our ancestors, they use it to heat, to cook, for everything. Um, uh, this time, uh, people started to uh, go to caves or to build some uh, houses, maybe wood made houses because it was the ch uh, cheapest material, and to have an open fire inside, it can be very dangerous. So they uh, found that it can create some uh, kind of uh, grate or fireplaces inside. It can warm inside the house or room. Uh, the third uh, step it was hot water central uh, heating system uh, was uh, uh, created in 1777 by French engineer Mr. Bonneman. Uh, it was mus much more safety. It was mu uh, it can save the place and uh, uh, it, um, the structure of this it's uh, uh, warm uh, water circulating inside. So the next step it was uh, uh, smart uh, smart heating and smart fall. So uh, I want to uh, separate between them because it's actually two inside, two parts inside. We have smart heating. That means we have uh, all the heating systems mount, uh, mounting in, uh, uh, in our floor that can save place. We don't need to have uh, something in, uh, uh, in nearby so it can be uh, underground, under the floor. And it can save the energy because it's controlled uh, by a computer when going outside. So it's not heating the house and uh, when we are sleeping and so on. From other side, we have a uh, um, sensor, sensors, sensors uh, uh, of movement and uh, blood uh, pressure. So uh, IBM created an in a very interesting system. It's a gravity space. Uh, from one side, it can recognize our movement inside of the room. It can uh, 
uh, create a picture of uh, everyday movement inside of the room and uh, can predict what we are doing. And for example, if we are falling and we are not coming, so something happened, it can send some message to uh, emergency service. The same, it can measure uh, uh, blood pressure measurement uh, when we are for sure without uh, shoes and uh, uh, can predict some uh, heart diseases. So the next, uh, uh, next one we will speak about uh, refrigerator. So the first step uh, to uh, mm, first step to uh, uh, prevent the food in uh, uh, for a uh, for a winter time it was drying. Actually, people found that uh, drying it uh, can save uh, better uh, products for a long time. And the next step it was conservation by uh, salt or sugar. So in this step we have uh, much more. Um, fresh uh, fruits, it can uh, save the, 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 the taste of fruit or uh, mushrooms or vegetables. Third one, it was a root killer, actually, so people uh, described that in uh, underground, uh, uh, earth, can, um, earth can retain actually the warm and cold, and uh, in the winter time you can put inside some ice and it can save just fresh uh, vegetables, fresh food, fresh uh, fish inside in underground or in this case of a uh, small uh, root killer so it was like in a first step of refrigerator actually so uh, when we have a center of electricity it was the first uh, refrigerator uh, elec e e um, electricity refrigerator actually in uh, 1923 uh, made by the company uh, uh, refrigerate refrigerator and the uh, so you can see that we don't need some uh, root killer outside from our home, it will be inside. We don't need to go outside. Let's speak about smart refrigerator. So it's actually the same, it's have two parts, smart screens and smart refrigerator. So let's speak about smart screens. Smart refrigerator has smart screens, it means all the sides of refrigerator have the screens and it can be it can some uh, software inside, for example, it can recognize the time of the day by night. It can show some moons or stars, or uh, when we have an empty refrigerator, it can show some movie that uh, some mouse is running inside, something like that. Um, moreover, it can has a mm, touch screen and the uh, uh, internet connection, so we can find some uh, recipe in internet and we can prepare food. Very helpful. From other side, we have product scans so um, inside of refrigerator we have, have a lot of sc uh, scanners they can scan the fruits because um, when you go into the supermarket all the fruits they have barcodes actually so when we put in inside all, uh, all the food it can calculate how many eggs uh, onions um, everything we, we put inside in this case if I want to create some uh, good uh, diet for me uh, based on fish and I don't know eggs so it will uh, all time uh, calculate how many inside and when I have a very low level of it, it will send a message to supermarket and uh, by the evening I will get a package close to my door with everything, with food. So now we're going to speak about <laughs> uh, toilet. Um, um, I think the first one it was like in a, you know, people what they need to do, uh, we, 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 they, they need to <laughs> to make it so they go outside from the village or from the town to some forest and they're coming back. Um, so the first central uh, mm, public uh, toilet was uh, found in uh, 3000 uh, uh, years uh, before Christ. It was in Mesopotamia. Um, it was a public, everyone can come and can do what he needs. And the second one, you can see it was a private one. It was a small one. Uh, can uh, can be wood made or something like that. Um, actually, uh, all these uh, cases, the one of the biggest problems was a bad smell. So all kind of toilets, uh, people they just uh, uh, constructed outside from villages or towns because the bad smell uh, you cannot stand it. Actually, um, that is one of the reasons why uh, people cannot create uh, high levels buildings like in the skyscrapers, because you can imagine if you are living in the fifth floor and you need to go to the toilet, you're running down and uh, you're doing what you're doing and back, it's not realistic. So, in the 77, Thomas William Twyford, he found a very mm, similar actually thing, but now it's so common, I think everyone 
have in his house this kind of toilet. It's uh, called a uh, water plug toilet. It was the two uh, important things. It's the first one. Uh, it's, uh, uh, um, this one can save the smell inside of the main tube and can refresh all time the water. Um, just a little bit information about the mass production. Um, uh, UNITAS, in uh, some uh, countries, they call to toilet UNITAS, and uh, actually it was the name of Spain company. They started to create uh, mass production water plug uh, toilets, and uh, um, the translation from Spain is actually unity or unit, just for information. So uh, we have uh, a lot of shapes and types of uh, uh, smart toilet, but it's all times the same system. It's a water plug. So let's see what we have now in our smart uh, toilet. We have uh, sensors. They mounted inside. It's a lot of sensors. We will speak about only three of them. So the sensors uh, can create uh, can uh, found some blood. So it can uh, predict uh, dysentery in our body. Uh, or it have uh, shape, it can measure the shape of our <laughs> stuff, yeah? And uh, it can uh, uh, predict the dysbiosis, or for example, by the color of, it can find a gastric uh, ulcer and can send some message to our doctor that something can, uh, can be uh, very dangerous for us. So uh, let's speak about washing machine. Um, uh, we know the people started to wash, uh, to use the soap or some kind of soap in uh, 600 years before Christ. So you can see it from this picture. Uh, by the time people found that a mechanical movement of uh, water can wash better mud and dust from our uh, clothes. So the people went to the rivers uh, or these kind of uh, places. And you can see from 1851, uh, James King, he created a manual washing machine based on the same technology. Until today, we have the same, but made uh, but um, with uh, uh, electri uh, with electricity uh, engine inside in 1930. It was created for a lot of lot of uh, companies. Doesn't matter, just a picture to realize. But now we will go to smart washing machine. What we have now inside. Um, so uh, in our uh, clothes, we can put some um, wire chips um, in places where you cannot feel it. For example, here, that uh, when we are putting inside of machine uh, all our clothes, machine can recognize, can read all the information about type, sensitivity, color, um, material of our clothes, and it can alert us, can warn us that white and black it can be <sighs> disaster in this case. And they uh, can send, for example, some uh, message to our uh, to our smartphone that done, finished, or it can uh, just uh, help us to find an uh, optimal uh, program. Um, so uh, uh, generally, now we are uh, we finished to, to we just finished to see the four applications. Actually, it's a lot of applications uh, in the smart home. Um, you can you can see so uh, nowadays we have a lot of smart we have smartphone we have smart cars watch home smart city someone can recognize this one okay it's a smart weapon yeah it's a smart weapon i will not discuss about this now it's a presentation not about this we can speak about this later uh i will just give you a little bit about smart city it's a uh, two new applications that i found and uh, nowadays it's developing it's a, a wireless charging of the bus so you can imagine bus is coming to the bus stations charging going uh, uh, forward and uh, uh, someday our city will become green without fuel or it's a smart uh, street lighting that uh, everything communicated to the uh, to the main uh, house for example can send some information about uh, traffic jams about uh, pedestrians and so on so on so um, by the end, I personally believe that smart home will become as a uh, part of our uh, daily life. Then we will come home, we will have smart home. And uh, when uh, we will create the buildings, when we create the houses, it will become a smart houses, smart buildings, and smart offices. So the only one question, what is the next smart? Thank you for your time.
questions. Yeah. So, thank you, Nikolai. So, uh, in the usual system, any questions from anybody? Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Because I've never really got around to the accepting that a bridge can be smart. Not, don't get me wrong, it can be smart, it can recognize all the items. I can understand about process tools, but I cannot understand about raw tools. You really feel comfortable about putting barcodes on tomatoes, for example. So the question is, how do you barcode your tomatoes to make your f your smart fridge know it's there? How you put barcode on onions? You just put inside of some plastic bag. It's everything becoming. You say barcodes now. It's maybe just uh, yeah tomatoes, but you know it's like in the concept that it can do. It can create. It's a prototypes. They can run now and nowadays. It's no problem. Do everything, but is it really necessary? It's your choice. You know we have it. It's your choice to use a smart home, a smartphone, sorry, or to use maybe a Nokia one, the small one, you know, just with uh, calling functions, but uh, it's your choice what to choose. Okay, thank you. A question here? Uh, can I ask a question specific to the smart toilets? Oh, I like it, yeah. <laughs> so does the sensor which, which I use with the smart toilets come in contact with the stool and the urine? For sure. So how often do we have to change it? Uh, you know, it's coming to help. <laughs> yeah, I will try to explain. It's coming to help us. Yeah, it's coming to help us to predict some illnesses. Yeah, it's better to have it than not. I think the question was more the sensor itself, because of what it's in contact with. <laughs> how do you clean the sensor? It's the same what you, for example, have in your sensor. car. You have airbags, but you're not using it every day. In specific case, it will, uh, will work. Yeah. I want to use it. I want to use it too. <laughs> <laughs> getting in contact with my stool and my urine, so how often should I change it? When you're pushing the button and you're going outside, you, you, you are caring about what is uh, happening there? No, so it's just like that. But it's, don't worry, it's a private information. <laughs> <laughs> Any non-toilet questions? No, <laughs> 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 uh, So what about the security of your system? We're speaking about smart home. So the question there is, what's the how does the security work more generally across the? You know, it's everything software. Home. Everything software. It will be encrypted by the by software, and uh, you know, it's uh, the question is, car to car communication models need to be encrypted. Everything, all the communication you can uh, um, you can go inside, so you need to be careful. So it's encryption only, you know, by software, something like that. It's uh, yeah, I understand that it needs to be private, but we have it, and uh, now it's becoming to be very common. In the round, I, I, I'm sure a lot of companies working on it. One more question here. The question concerning um, that is that one currency called IOTA mm -hmm. and um, uh, cryptocurrency. Uh, I heard that Bosch, for example, is like investing a lot of mo money to use this currency later for uh, smart systems, like for example, the fridge. Mm -hmm. So, uh, can you maybe like tell us something about? Yota or something like the smart currency that would be linked with the smart systems. So the question is about a smart currency called Yota? Yeah, there's like I have link, some link, link example. To smart homes, I have yeah? some example. You know Amazon, yeah? You know the bottom from Amazon? If you're buying food for your cat, yeah? All times the same type, the same package. So when you see it's uh, becoming to be just finished, you're just pushing the bottom and sending information to Amazon, you will receive it after two weeks. The same, it's the same actually made in the same um, concept. So do you think like maybe later in the, the future we will use this kind of currency? Um, for sure, it's becoming very, very common now and it's going like in a snowball, you know, bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, they're doing a lot of investment on this, millions of people, millions. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Oh, no questions. Okay, in which case, thank you very much. Thank you, friends. Thank you.